Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Uh, I want to make a video about batteries and the cells inside the batteries and how to check what kind of cells you have. Because right now, it's 2021, we're about to hit probably the biggest e-bike explosion that we've ever seen. Last year was huge with COVID. This year's even gonna be bigger, and who knows, the next few years are even gonna be bigger and bigger, I bet, as people start buying more and more. Uh, counterfeits are a big problem, and how to make sure that you got what you paid for, essentially. So today I'm going to take a look at two batteries. One is I bought from a known supplier. The other one I bought from an unknown supplier. I am going to open them up. They're both supposed to be spec'd the same with Samsung 35E cells in them. Uh, they're both stamped with 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour capacity. So let's go take a look and see what we're gonna get. And I'm gonna show you how to also check your battery if you're, if you're curious to see what you got. You don't need to be technically savvy or anything like that. Just be careful though. Just do this at your own risk, I guess. You're dealing with 52 volts, so if you short something, it could be bad, but the odds of you doing that are not that high. Be diligent with your work. But anyways, I'm gonna show you these two batteries and uh, yeah, see what I find. So as you can see, these are two different colors. These, I don't know if you can see, but they say Samsung on them. These do not say Samsung on them. These say 2,500 milliamps, which are 2.5 amp hours. These are 3,500 milliamps, which are three and a half amp hour. I just wanna reiterate, these were both marked as the same Samsung 3,500 cells that were supposed to be 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour. You can see the one batteries that I got were, they're labeled, they're wrapped in Samsung material. The other ones are not, they're just generic 2500 milliamp hour batteries, which means that that battery is stamped as a 17 and a half amp hour, but it's actually a 12 and a half amp hour. So one more thing to just be wary of when you're buying batteries, make sure that you buy it from a reputable source because they could stamp whatever they want on it, but until you go in and literally take your battery apart and see what's in there, you don't know what you're actually getting. So when you see a battery either on Amazon or anywhere, and it's like, oh, three or $400 for that battery, you don't know what you're getting. You may be, it may be saying it's a 15 amp hour, 16 amp hour, it may be half. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Let this be a cautionary tale to you guys. Yeah, there's a lot of counterfeiters out there and it's a shame. And you can see both of these batteries are both stamped the same, but they're not. Hopefully it doesn't help you be more paranoid, but just buy from a reputable place. Make sure that you're buying good quality stuff. And you know, there's nothing wrong necessarily with buying a generic cell as long as you're paying for that generic cell. If you're paying for premium, but you're getting generic, ugh, that's not good. But if you're paying generic prices for a generic cell, that's fine. Uh, generic cells are just probably not gonna have the same lifespan as a premium cell. You know, premium cell, if you make it, if you take really good care of it, you could probably get 10 years out of it. Generic cell, you might get like seven years out of it if you take the same proper care out of it. You kind of get what you pay for, for a certain degree. I'm not knocking it, but hopefully this was helpful, guys. Thanks.